Now, on a Royal Navy vessel, specimens that were collected automatically became the property of the Crown. But occasionally, officers and crew were allowed to keep their finds, as was the case on this journey. Darwin, as an independent passenger, had the right to keep all his own material, and as time went on, the officers and crew assisted him greatly and gave him much of their own collected material. As a hydrographer, Fitzroy was keenly observant of the uplifted Chilean coastline following an earthquake they had just experienced, and they took this as direct support for Lyle's theories. They later took some time to cross the Andes together, discussing how the phenomenon might account for fossils they found in strata high up in the mountains, or how weathered stones were too rounded by erosion to be the result of only a 40-day biblical flood. Again, Fitzroy showed that in many scientific considerations, he was willing to ignore the conclusions of biblical scholars and side with the evidence. When Darwin was asked to write an account of the natural history discoveries of the voyage, which would form a part of the volume of the ship's narrative, his rare mention of Fitzroy's contribution to his thinking, the participation of other officers and crew, or their many contributions to his jealously guarded collection, upset Fitzroy deeply, who began to view Darwin as having a selfish agenda, something that would be profoundly offensive to a military man who was himself renowned for his generosity.